Adam Eckerly. I'm a senior technical marketing architect within the cloud platform BU at VMware. We're going to talk about the new management clients in vSphere 6.5. We currently have several different interfaces for administrators to use in order to operate the environment. One is the vSphere web client. This is the primary Flash or Flex-based web client uh, that we've had for a number of years now. This is where most of the operations will occur uh, within vSphere 6.5. We also have a couple of other interfaces uh, that you use from time to time. Uh, the VAMI or the Virtual Appliance Management UI, uh, which can, is out of band management for the appliances. We can do things like reboot, view health information, collect support bundles. Uh, we also have the PSC UI, which is someplace we can access out of band where we can configure SSO domains, SSO users, certificate management, uh, and then we also have the new HTML5 based host client. Uh, this was introduced as a fully supported product in uh, vSphere 6.0 update 2, uh, and we've continued to make improvements uh, in 6.5. And then last and not least is the new vSphere client. This is the HTML5 based reincarnation uh, of the vSphere web client. Uh, this is highly performant, uh, it's a brand new interface, and I'll get into some of the more details uh, in a minute. Before we get to that, let's talk about some of the improvements in the primary management interface for vSphere, the vSphere web client. Uh, again, it's still based on Adobe Flash, uh, which we're trying to get away from with the new HTML5 vSphere client, but until that time comes, we've made some marked improvements. One is introducing live refresh. One of the largest challenges that we've heard from customers is that when you perform operations in the vSphere web client, they may not be reflected immediately. Or if another administrator is doing something uh, different in the vSphere web client, you're not sure when those actions are taking place. You either have to continually refresh uh, or use a different client uh, to see those uh, operations in real time. So live refresh is really exciting. Uh, being able to see power states and tasks and all kinds of operations happen in real time. So the vSphere web client can really be that single source of truth. We've also made some UI tweaks in flattening some tabs, renaming some things. Now the manage tab is renamed to configure. We've removed the related objects tabs and bubbled up all of those things into a nice flat menu. So things are easy to see and not buried under several layers of different menus. We've also made a ton of uh, performance improvements and the VM rollup, where you have uh, a sizable list of VMs in the inventory tree, now that rollup happens if we have more than 5,000 VMs, whereas before it happened at 50 VMs. So for medium to large size environments, administrators were constantly having to click to expand a list of VMs. We've also added the recent ob objects pane, uh, which is a nice place to be able to sort of view things that you've recently viewed. Uh, so if you go to a different part of the interface and you need to quickly go back, you can find those objects that you've recently accessed in that recent objects pane. Finally, we have the client integration plugin. This was a plugin that was required to both deploy the vCenter server appliance and also to do things like integrated Windows authentication uh, and OVF uploads and a number of other operations. This is no longer required and we've recreated most of those operations in the native web browser. Behind me is a screenshot of the vSphere client. Again, this is completely built on HTML5, requires no plugins, and its uh, primary objective is performance. Uh, it is very similar to the vSphere web client in layout and functionality. However, uh, we have taken the liberty to rearrange some things uh, as you'll notice, the search bar is more prominent in the top middle to make it easier to go and find objects. Some key things to know about the new vSphere client is that it was introduced as a VMware fling. These are completely unsupported tools, but allow us to get the latest features and functionality out into the hands of our customers. The vSphere client fling has been around since March of 2016. We've seen weekly updates to it, uh, and it's been a great place to solicit feedback from our customers, and we've used that feedback to then make the product even better. 
The fling works with both vSphere 6.0 and 6.5, so again, making it easy and flexible for you to deploy in your environment and do testing. We also have, with vSphere 6.5, a fully supported version of the vSphere client, uh, and it's accessed via the FQDN of your vCenter server slash UI. It is fully supported. All its features are relatively stable and mature, uh, and it's built right into vCenter. There's no extra configuration. It's enabled by default, uh, and it's easy to access. It does lag behind features, uh, and we have some documentation online that shows uh, what features are currently enabled and what are missing, and we'll continue to update the vSphere client in vCenter Server 6.5 uh, with upcoming patches uh, to bring it more closer to where the fling is at from a features perspective. I mentioned that it's performant and fast. We do have some quotes uh, that customers have been saying about this new client. Uh, customers are really excited about it, uh, and we are too. For more information, please visit pubs.vmware.com. Thank you.